Hello and welcome to my video today. I have an update on the Ocean Link Pro app. There happens to be an update on the Android version, but not the iOS version that has some new user interface and user experience changes and also probably some functionality. I'm going to be checking it out today. So let's get started. All right, so in the Google Play Store, we have an update for the Ocean Link Pro app. I am going to press update. And by the way, this was last updated July 11th. It mentions bug fixes and performance improvements. Windows calibration fixed, new UI. Yep, so let's go back and update. So let me find the app here on my phone. I'm going to start it up. We have a nice little ocean graphic come up. And what else do we have here? I am going to press login. Going to enter my email address and the password. And I'm going to press sign in. And we have a end user license agreement here. So I'm going to scroll through that. Then press continue. Accept the terms. I accept. And then I need to make sure all the app permissions are set. I am going to be allowing the app lock and I am going to be using biometric, which on this phone happens to be the fingerprint sensor. All right, it is now granted. So now I have all the permissions set. I'm going to press continue. And let's see, the app has started up now. At the top, we have Ocean. Then it says Matthew's Ocean, never connected. Then it has a image of the car. Then we have a slide to connect. And below that, we have a bunch of other functions that will be active when the car is connected. On the bottom center, we have like the home button, which is the Fisker emblem. To the left, we have diagnostics and to the right, we have like profile and settings. So I am going to go to slide to connect and it says connecting connected. And then it says slide to disconnect. So we can do the same thing again if I want to disconnect the app from the car. So we have a number of different things right here. We have the unlock button. So since the car is already locked, I am going to press that. Just for checking, I'm going to press the lock button. So yes, lock and unlock works. Now I'm going to press the lift gate button. And as we can see, lift gate is now open. I'm going to press it again. Lift gate closes. Going to test out California mode here. And we have California mode. Doesn't look like the roof wants to go. So let me press one more time. Nope, it's not happy with the California mode today for some odd reason. Then we also have a button here that disconnects the plug, the charging plug from the port. And that is about it. Oh, and in the center, we have the on button, which when you're seated in the car, that turns the car into ready mode. What else do we have here? Let's go into profile and it has my name, my email, and let's go to settings. We have choices for language. We have a lot more choices now. We have English, English UK. We have a whole bunch of European languages and I'm gonna keep it on English. Then we have units, we have distance units. I'm gonna have as miles. Temperature units, I'm gonna keep as Fahrenheit. So that's all looking good. 
The app lock biometric is what I have selected. Then there's digital key enabled. And since I have PKC 20 and I have my BLE key known, I am able to use digital key on the car, which then lets you operate the app as phone as a key. So that is enabled. Let's go back out. So that's it for the settings. There's a support. You can press continue. That'll open a browser if you need to get support. Down below here, it shows the version number. It's 1.1.0. 1300000366. And that's about it for this profile section. If I press my ocean, that brings us to the main screen. Then we also have diagnostics and it's going to look for an OBD dongle. So I'm going to go back to the main screen here and I'm going to go into the car and let's see what we can find here. For doing diagnostics, I'm going to insert the OBD2 adapter into the port. All right, that is now attached. So let's press the brake, start up the car. Note that it says hold key fob to NFC reader. I don't need to do that since I'm using the app. So I'm going to press the on off button right there and that puts the car in ready mode. So at this point I could drive. I have drive, neutral, reverse, park. So phone is a key is working. Let me close my California mode again. Let me test California mode one more time. And now it's going. Every once in a while, it is a little buggy with the sunroof not opening. But now it is working. And now I'm going to close it. Let's go into the diagnostics. Scanning for the dongle. It shows me the low voltage battery is at 13.15 volts. Car ready mode. We are in ready mode. I'm going to press OK. Initializing connection to vehicle. So we have our car diagnostics. I can look at the DTC report. I can grab all of those. I can go to next and it's going to populate those. Gonna give it a minute or so to grab all the ECU information. All right, so everything is gathered and I can generate a report. So I'll press that. Then I can open the PDF and then I can open it with one of the apps and, and I can always save it. I'm just gonna, let's see, I'm gonna use it with uh, Drive. Show you what it looks like. So there's the DTC report, multiple pages. Then you can save this, you can download it or send it to somewhere. So that's the report. And it seemed to put me back out of diagnostics. So let's go back into diagnostics again. So that was DTC report. And then you could also clear the DTCs if you wish. Make sure that you save that report before you clear them. It's probably a good idea to do that. Let's go to software versions. I'm going to select all. Then I'm going to go to next and then all of those get populated. Give that some time since there's a whole lot of ECUs. 
Let that continue and it is almost done. Boom, so when everything's done, the generate report button will be pressable. So I'm gonna touch that and I'm going to open, give you a look at that, similar to the other PDF. So that gives you the version information. Then I can also download that or send it somewhere. So that is good. All right. Now we have fobs and cards pairing. I'm gonna just press that real quick. You're able to read the number of paired fobs, read the number of paired NFC cards. You can pair a fob, you can pair an NFC card, you can delete a fob and you can delete a card. And then you can reset a fob to factory status, which is what you'll need to do if you ever want to sell a key fob to someone else you need to have it set to factory status so that they compare it with their car. So let's get out of that. There's a reset ECUs section here and you can individually reset the ECUs. I would be super careful in doing this since I'm not sure what all of these do. So I would say as an owner, only reset these if you know what you're doing or told to do a reset. So I am going to exit out of that. Let's look at Windows calibration, the last item on the list. And that is now coming up. Please wait. All right, so we have California mode up top. So that can open or close. So that's now on the top of the screen. Then we have the diagram of the car. We have the front left, front right windows. We have rear left, rear right windows. And we have left doggy and right doggy windows. And then we also have the lift gate window back here. The center, we have sunroof. I'm gonna press that. And you have the ability to open, close, and tilt the sunroof control. So that is pretty handy to have. And that's about it for this section here. So I am going to exit out of that. And that is, I think, it for diagnostics. Uh, yeah, so I am going to go to the main section again. And yeah, so it gives you all the information. It gives you the locked or unlocked status for the car. If we go to the upper right corner here, there's another menu and that shows my vehicles. So if you have more than one vehicle, they'll, they will show up here and you'll be able to switch between them. I only have one ocean, so that's the information for mine. And then you can tap to select, hold to edit vehicle settings. And now I'm going to hold down to edit the settings. And it now shows vehicle customization coming soon. Vehicle customization features including name editing, color selection, and wheel options will be available in a future update. Very cool. To be determined. Then there's a refresh feature. You pull this down and that will um, determine what uh, vehicles it can see in the Bluetooth low energy distance, which is around I would say under a hundred feet from the phone. All right, so that is that menu. And we also have a little alarm here. We have notifications, no notifications at this time. That is it. I'm just pressing here randomly, seeing if anything else comes up. Okay. So that is about it. That's a quick tour of the Android version of Ocean Link Pro. And it is the latest and greatest that has the UX and UI updates for the Fisker Ocean. Hopefully the iOS version will be coming out soon and will most likely be very similar to how this looks and operates. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.